Today, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking a look at the Kotec 100 watt dual USB C fast charger. Now, there's a lot of options for you out there to buy a fast charger for your phone. Like if you got a Galaxy or you got a Galaxy Tab or you got an um, iPhone or a MacBook or something. But here what you got is you got this 100 watt charger that's able to charge Galaxy phones, Galaxy Notes with those really big 4000 milliamp batteries. Or you can easily charge your MacBook Pro, or you can charge just about anything that requires USB-C. I believe that the iPhone 12 is going to stick with Lightning because Lightning makes a lot of money for Apple. So even though a lot of these tech enthusiasts want Apple to get rid of Lightning, they're not going to do it because it's so much extra money. But um, USB-C fast charges, just in case you're looking for one, unlike those cheap charges you get in the dollar store from those Chinese manufacturers, when you get one like this, Kotec, they got some very good products that last a long time. And when you get a, a, a charger like this, you can pretty much be certain that this thing is going to last and you can be certain you're not going to have any shorts. So as you can see, this takes 100 to 240 volts input so that means that you can be in america japan china so forth and so on um most countries only go up to about 220 or 240. typically if you're in a a, a developed industrial company um a country that like america or japan you're always going to see 110 volts because they have better transformers to step down the power they don't want to have very very high voltage power lines everywhere but when you go to places like thailand or you go to other countries like Southeast Asia, you're going to see 240 volts most likely. And, um, you know, those are the poor countries that suffer from brownouts all the time. So when you have a charger like this and you take this with you, you can hook this up to a USB-C hub and you can charge multiple devices simultaneously. Or you can just use this as a fast charger for your MacBook or whatever you're carrying with you. Now, in addition to this, Kotec my uh, sponsor, they also gave me USB-C cables, and these are braided cables, higher quality, and they have rubberized endings so that they don't easily bend. And uh, these cables are specifically designed so that um, you can get a lot of use out of them, and um, ultimately, they're uh, really great for Galaxy users because they're nice and long. As you can see, it came wrapped up. And uh, also, you can even use this to charge your MacBook. So I know there's a lot of people, especially with newer Apple products, that would you know love to have um, a nice, good cable and a very fast USB-C okay, charger. So out of the box, what you get is a user manual. We, for the most part, we don't really need that. And it's a nice, big, thick block. Looks like an Apple product. Nice rounded edges and everything. And then you have uh, probably a LED indicator light, pull out uh, uh, blade charger, just like the ones they use in Japan that don't have uh, polar sides so that they don't have the wider edge right here. And you have two USB-C inputs. So now my normal, let's see what we got here. My normal um, charger that I always use is my Apple uh, I believe this was a 12 watt, if I'm not mistaken. This was a uh, 12 watt. Yes, this was a 12 watt charger. I usually use this on my iPhone. And I usually use this because I, I have a lot of things to charge. Because as you can see, I have this charging pad right here. Um, some company gave me that. I'm using that to get to charge my uh, Apple Watch right there. Then on top of that, I have this uh, USB-C uh, Bizalau Alta Air uh, stand up charger from my iPhone where you just sit your iPhone on that and it's a wireless pad right here. And this also works on a Galaxy uh, Note. So I'm going to plug in the Kotec. Got the Kotec right there. Has a nice blue LED right there. As you can see. So uh, it's a lot thicker and bigger than the uh, Apple charger by far. So you can see the size difference in these things. One of the things now that I'm, I'm kind of disappointed is Apple, in order to cut down on manufacturing, Apple does not include LED lights. Well, why not? I mean, you're making this stuff for, you know, like bottom dollar in China. You might as well include 
uh, uh, LED light. So this way I know, um, you know, I know um, that uh, the, the charge is working, basically. You might as well include one. I don't know why you don't. But um, as far as fast charging goes, um, if you're going to use this for an iPhone, you're going to have to get a USB-C to lightning um, adapter. Um, usually those cables, and I actually have one somewhere, but you know, I have so many damn things. It's like, my, my thing is, um, I, I know I have one, but, uh, I, I, I had it in my laptop bag, but I don't know where it is right now. So bottom line is if you want to use this for an iPhone, you're definitely going to have to get a USB-C to lightning, um, cable. Now let's say you have a galaxy, uh, phone of some type, right? Well, then if you do decide to get these extra long code tech cables, basically they come with a nice little wrap right there. And you just plug that in. And uh, then you're ready to charge whatever you want to charge. So, for example, I have, okay, plugs right in, no problem. And then, for example, I have the back, this uh, system right here that I have, this is actually a USB-C fast charger. So if I wanted, I could plug that right in right there. And uh, anything I put on it will be fast charged, right? So if I put my phone on it, this will fast charge as much as possible because even wireless induction charging does have limitations. So um, there's a limit to how much power you can get wirelessly because otherwise the back of your phone overheats and it would burn up. We don't want that. So um, that's that's just how, if I want to, I can set it up like that. You know, there's a lot of people there like, oh, yeah, you should clean your desk. I have a lot of wires because, like, I have a lot of stuff and stuff. So it's like I have a lot of wires and everything. So, someday soon I'll do cable management, but right now I just don't care. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's a very simple product. It works very quickly. Um, the only issue that I have right now is being able to simultaneously record a video of me using the thing so i'd have to do that on another uh camera but um it's a very efficient powerful charger i've all i've used Kotec products for a while i like the build quality i've never had a problem nothing's ever burned out so uh if you're willing to invest in yourself get yourself a hundred watt dual charger instead of the the lower because i mean the 12 watt apple charger they charge a lot of money for those in fact wait, wait, let's look what, what are they charging the 12 watt apple charger is expensive because apple overprices 12 watt uh what is this apple charger they charge a lot of money because they know that they can overcharge for these things so um amazon has them i don't, I don't know if this is a official but let's go to apple let's see what they charge like everybody else charges like 14 15 apple still charges 20 and the reason why they're able to do that is because they know that instead of getting the 12 watt you're going to want the newer ones that they have like they have a 45 watt and then they have the 18 watt the 18 watts 29 dollars the apple 5 watt is 19 and then you got this 30 watt for 49 so these are obviously less power um, they don't give as much power as this one does because this one's 100 watt. So what you're talking about is being able to charge dual devices twice as fast as even the best single Apple charger. So you can charge two MacBooks twice as fast. I mean, that is some serious value, is it My not? My Alienware laptops, and as you can see right here, this Alienware laptop came with dual super speed ports. One of them is USB-C, while the other one is USB 3.0. On the back of this computer, there is a, uh, what is this, a display port, HDMI, and then there's only one USB-C port. So in order for me to hook up my uh, controller, like when I take my controller so I can play games on my laptop, what I did was I bought from eBay, I got this USB-C hub. So this USB-C hub is a four port hub. This cost me about $2 and it was delivered from China. It took weeks because of coronavirus to get it. But once I got it, I was very happy to get it. And as you can see, this is USB-C. And because this is a USB-C 3.0 device, because as you can see, whenever you have blue 
tips inside the blue tips tell you that you have um 3.0 charging um usually it's the red and the yellow that mean that these things are always on so because these are blue if the device turns off that means these turn off now red typically means that it's always on and yellow typically means it's always on but most developers either are going to use yellow or red based on the color coding of the machine itself so usually you'll see red but usually it'll be in the back of a computer where it's out of sight. But you gotta have a USB 3.0 hub because just about everything wants to get its power over USB-C now. Like for instance, my headphones right here, my Alienware AW988 headphones wanna be charged using USB-C. Um, so when you plug these things in, you can charge them using regular USB, it just takes a lot longer. And if you want to get right into a game, you know, you don't want to have, um, you know, slower USB 2.0 speeds. And then there's my uh, Xbox Live controller. The Xbox Live controller, I have um, the charging pad for it, as you can see by the battery. thing about it is USB-C allows you to charge things much, much faster and allows you to use the same cable to charge everything. Now, this generation of Xbox controllers came with a regular USB uh, 2.0 charging style, right? But the newer Xbox like Scarlet, PS5, uh, newer systems like, uh, you know, Switch and everything, all of their uh, accessories, if they're not proprietary, they're going to be USB-C. The, the European Union is trying to force everybody into USB-C at this point. So ultimately, USB-C is going to be taking over because as you can see you know if you've been using usb 2.0 usb 2.0 is slower and uh the data bandwidth is not as high so ultimately again everything is going to usb c 3.0 and uh the, because that charging tip is so much smaller it's about half the size of this one uh ultra portable laptops have switched to that just like the macbook pro so that they can save space Okay, so in order to test this thing properly, what I did was I used an LG Stylo 4. The LG Stylo 4 came with a USB-C connection. And as you can see, um, the uh, time that I started charging this was at 2 o'clock p.m. And it was 68% full. So um, basically, I just wanted to see from 60% or 68%, how quickly would it take the dual charger in order to charge just one device? Now, both ports uh, can provide the exact same amount of power, and this is the absolute amount of power that you can get for the most part without paying an arm and a leg on a fast charging USB-C device. By 2.11, it was up about 10% to 78%. And then, at 223 i checked it again it was up at 86 percent so for the most part this fast charger charges about 10 percent every 10 minutes